Hi everyone, it's Monday the 22nd of November and it's coming up to 25 past 6 in the evening. Now, this video is going to be a barricade lamp update video. I have uh, got some more lamps for the collection. I think I've got about six down here. Yeah. Like that. Um, some are actually similar to what I've already got, but I'm going to show them anyway. Um, but I've not just bought complete lamps, I've actually bought, I think it was about three weeks ago, a little job lot of assorted spare parts and whatnot, um, some spare circuits, nuts, bolts, um, there's a cone bracket and a lamp body for a Tildorn Guardsman. I can't remember if they're the Mark 1 or the Mark 2's, I can't remember the, the system off the top of my head. <laughs> anyway. I've also bought some spare lenses for some German Nissan lamps uh, from a different seller, all from different sellers. So I'm going to start with these lenses because they're the most boring thing in my opinion. So I've got two pairs from the same seller, not at the same time. Um, the first pair I bought <coughs> from this um, particular seller, the same day actually I bought a, that job lot of spare parts from a different seller on eBay by the way I believe they were both collectors of lamps just having a bit of a clear out of bits and bobs um, so here's the first pair a red and white pair that's not the lens that actually came with the red one um, because a week or so later the same seller put up a pair of white lenses I nabbed as well because they were cheap. Um, now these are for the Nissan Nitro lamps, which I've got one of here. I've just got the red and white lenses on. Uh, what I wanted to do with these is actually fit them to one of these Nissan Mono lamps because you can pick these up easy peasy. Um, I probably still could, but I'd have to make a little bit of a modification. Not just to the colour of LED, because this has got amber ones, but um, these lenses aren't designed to take the um, LED support. LED light support is like an A shape in there. And on those amber lenses, to hold that LED support, there's like two little pegs, which these ones don't have. I could hot snot them in if I really wanted to, if I just wanted to play around. No, I've got spare lenses. I've got hot glue, I just need a spare amber light that I want to uh, mess around with. I'll have a look on eBay, I'm sure some will pop up sooner or later. Like I said, they're pretty easy to get hold of, those mono lights. Um, yeah, the original clear one that came with this didn't match. The holes didn't line up and the little bit at the top here that holds on your little handle was different as well as well as the reflector, which I only noticed today. So, this chair is getting annoying. There's this one, which is a match for those two. And this one, if you look, is completely different. See the reflectors? They're lots of little segments, whereas that one isn't. If you look at the top where the um, handle goes, they are also different. This one, got some grooves in it whereas that one doesn't. So I'm not too sure if that is a Nissan lens or what that one's for. I mean the bit around the neck, this bit where it joins to the body, is exactly the same and at first glance it looks like those holes should line up, the screw holes that is, but they don't. Um, that was one of the reasons when I saw these pop up about a week later that I bought the clear ones as well hoping that one of them would match up with the red one, which it does, so I think they're only about eight quid for the pair, what a great deal. And that job lot of parts, I can't actually show you them because I've sort of put all the bits away and binned what I didn't want or that weren't any use to me. There's a couple of circuits there, I think at least one circuit that I binned because most of it was missing. And I didn't have a lamp for that particular circuit so I just binned it. What I really wanted that job lot of parts for was the lamp body, because it was a Tildorn Guardsman. The uh, 
large lens type. Now it was just the body. It had um, no base, battery base, no lenses, no circuit, no nothing. There was a circuit for this in the job lot. I don't know if it went with this light originally. I don't think it did because the switching was different. Um, <clears throat> but that circuit is now in this one with a modified switch. Should have a toggle switch there, not a rocker like my uh, blue one which is up on the wall through there. Um, but yeah, I've put my green lenses in. Finally found a lamp body to put the green lenses in that I was given about four years ago from a friend and fellow collector. <laughs> yeah, it's taken me that long, and I'm not kidding, it has taken me that long to find a body to put those lenses in. Now, they did a later version of this which had smaller lenses, as you can see, the Zamba one's got the smaller lenses. Um, and I have seen these quite a I should say quite often, not that often because these aren't quite hard to find. But um, I've seen the smaller lens ones pop up more than these bigger lens. Um, and when these older, larger lens ones pop up, they do sell pretty quick and can often sell for quite a high price. And every time one did, it either went for more money than I had at the time or it popped up when I had no money. <laughs> so I just couldn't win. Which is why when I saw that this body in a job lot of parts for I think it was about 11 quid. Buy it now. I just basically snapped it up because I was like, I want that body. I could see in the photo that this body was the correct size for my green lenses. But, uh, it does work. It's a static circuit. It doesn't bother me. But yeah, I think originally this would have had blue lenses in it and a toggle switch on there and the circuit would have been a Zenon strobe circuit so you would have had to have had depending on the wiring configuration either one or two six volt batteries in I think the one I got on the wall only needs one but, uh, I'm actually happy that I've now got green lenses that body will get a clean up by the way I will give it a try and get that red paint off the handle I have no idea why that was put on there and uh, yeah, just clean that up as best I can. Now, sticking with the green theme, this next lamp is one I've watched on eBay for months. And I don't think the photos do it justice, to be honest. Because it looked like just a cheap, tacky Chinese thing, but it's actually pretty well built. Um, here it is. There weren't many of these left um, from that cellar when I got this. Also, what is your opinion? Is that blue or is that green? Because it was advertised as green. It looked green in the photos, but in this light and in person it looks blue. Or well, sort of a turquoise, bluey green colour, aqua blue, I don't know. It just doesn't look like a pure green colour. Um, it's got this sort of post mount on it, cone mount, it's got a little bolt there to lock it in place, it's got another bolt hole the other side, um, if I remember rightly these are actually um, Polish, I believe that's where they were made, but it does feel like good quality plastic, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to shatter into a million pieces if I drop it, I have actually got a battery in this, Whee! even looks blue when I turn it on, at least to me. So yeah, I'm not sure what that would have been used. It was advertised as an ex-military lamp. Um, landing light for helicopters, maybe? Um, I did read somewhere where green lights like this were used to mark um, medical tents in the military. I don't know if they actually did ever do that. My knowledge is poor on the military. But, uh, yeah, it's actually quite nice now. I want to take the lenses off this at some point just to see what the circuit is like because I haven't got that far yet. Um, There's a bit of a bugger to get the base off to get the battery in. Anyway, 
That was $14.99. And like I said, there's very few of these left um, for sale when I bought that. Right. Next one is one I've got many of already. But I bought this one mainly because of the circuit inside. So it is another E-type, which is one of my favourite style of lamps anyway. Um, I have got a battery in it, but I don't know where my key is to turn the damn thing on here. Is. Turn that the right way, it might help. It's got quite a fast flash, actually. The slide switch isn't brilliant on this. Um, but what caught my attention was something that is actually um, a bit difficult to find as well these days is the white circuit with the two contact strips, not the three. Um, this is an early circuit. I've only got one other lamp um, which has this. Uh, me and a friend were talking about this particular one and we don't think the body itself is an early body we think that's um, a newer one which would have had a yellow circuit in it with three contact strips so I'm going to tuck that in there I'm going to put the battery back uh, mainly because it will hold the circuit in place and stop it falling out at the bottom um, It'd be nice if this was an early body because it is in better condition than my other one. Which is the other reason I bought it and the fact it was only £10. Cheap. And it's been relisted, um, I think, at least once before I bought it. Now, the last three arrived this afternoon, actually, quite late to be honest, for my Hermes. Um, and they were sold as spares or repairs. Because um, two of them don't have circuits, but I believe the one closest to me is actually a working lamp. Now it is heavy, so it's got a battery in it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one because I've got quite a few of these. It's a maxi light. I used to hate these things, you know. I used to really dislike them, but they've grown on me. Okay, so I've turned it on. It's not doing anything, so it's quite heavy, so we've got a battery in it. Uh, um, maybe one second. I'm going to need one of my lap keys. I can't get the bolt undone. I've actually got a JSP Maxi Light key here. They also work on the mini lights because the bolts were exactly, the, well I say exactly the same, the heads were exactly the same. I think this is going to be an utter pain to get this bolt out because I think... Yeah, I'm going to ruin my key. Um, I've got a set of vice grips up here. I'll come back to that one in a minute. Um, that's going to fight me. <laughs> um, I've got a spare body one of these. Traffy lights. Quite an early one I think from that sticker as well. These are another one that I absolutely adore and if I see them cheap, spares or repairs or not, I just I can't resist. I'm weak. Um, I suppose it's better than the seller, you know, chucking them in the bin because he can't get rid of them. At least, uh, oh, this has got a crack in the lens as well, just realised that. Not that that's an issue. And a highlight. With a big hole in it. I have got the rubber grommet for that and I have got a circuit, so what I'm planning on doing. I've got one of those with green lenses up there, but they're on a standard um, body. It hasn't got the big hole for the rubber grommet. 
So I might switch it. Or I could make another blue one up because I have got spare blue lenses. I've got about three of them actually. So, yeah, not a real lot to show with those two. But I don't know what it is, I just really like this style of lamp. And apart from the crack in the lens, I can't see any other damage, just wear and tear from where it's been used. It'll probably be where that crack came from, probably dropped on the road or something. Dropped in storage. Who knows? Right. Let's see if I can drag the toolbox this way because I can't actually see. I have vice clips. Right. Let's move you that way for a minute. So, I want to see if I can get these on there. To turn that ball. I think this is going to put up a fight. I may not be able to do it. I might have to find a pair of vice grips which has got the uh, curved bit in there, not the flat edges like this one. turning, well I think it's turning the nut inside the case. Yeah it is. Um, somewhere on my sofa over there I've got some WD-40 but I don't think it's going to do anything. So I'm going to need like something else to put on there to try and stop that nut from spinning. Um, I think it's just rusted in. But uh, as it stands at the moment, I've got no other way of getting this off. Right, that should be squared up in that hole, in that position. Uh, I'm short of completely destroying the plastic so I can cut the nut off. I'm not really sure what path to take with this. <laughs> what I might do is end the video. Actually what I could do is pause the video and have a fight with this and come back. Actually that's a better idea. I'll just pause the video and uh, see if I can get into this. Well, I'm back. And I think I can get into the lamp now. I've had to cut the bolt head off. Because that's why. A bit rusty. Um, I just need something that I can just tap that through with. There is two lamp batteries in them. Greenham Contractors battery, ever ready. Yeah, they're dried out. That terminal's gone like that, but it's not leaked over the circuit, so I think with a replacement nut and bolt that was just so rusted on there that wasn't coming off. I mean, look at it. A spare bolt did come with it. It's actually in the base of one of the other lamps. Um, Made by Everready apparently. With the green and name on. I wonder how much these cost back in the day. It's 
a shame, you know, that I couldn't get into one of these and, you know, put some modern innards in there. Make it look like an old battery is still working. A bit more authenticity. Yeah, I think with a fresh battery in there, I reckon that's going to work. I have got one at hand, haven't I? So one I can just try this with. Yep. I'll pinch it out of the E-type. Okay, so it's not doing anything yet. Where's the switch? It's this side. Ooh. It's definitely a keeper, it's a steady burn. I think most of mine actually flash. I can't remember if I have a steady burn in that cup. Um, yeah, I know I've damaged that bit, but with a new nut and bolt in there, that'll be fine. Um, not damaged the base. Obviously the base is not going to stay on though, because I've uh, broken the bolt. <clears throat> yeah, I've got some spare nuts in my box there, and like I, said, I think the nuts are in this box. That should be, yep. Some right there. Again, sent from um, a friend and fellow collector I got those green lenses from. But you've got the handle here, which is meant for um, one of my highlights because it didn't have one. And he also stuck in three spare square nuts. And when I'm done throwing the nuts around the floor, should have my box of bits there. Spare bolt. What do I have? Some of my own spare bolts in there. That one's not very good. The thread's not very good on that one, but to be honest, I don't think they're going to get much better in this pot of bits. Um, I've got scaffolding brackets in here as well because it was just easier to store the stuff with these removed. That actually goes on a lamp cage. That one. So, what I'm looking for is another maxi light bolt. I've broken a few up for spares as myself. So I'm missing like a circuit or a base or something like that, that's better. Right. That goes back on there. And in fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the battery in it. He says. It's not actually how you're supposed to put the battery in, the lamp's upside down anyway, so you know. While I'm this way round. Downside is I might need a pair of pliers on this side to do the nut up. If I could just get that started, push it in, because it's still got the sides and everything there, it's just I had to cut some of the surround off just to see if I could uh, undo it from that side, but uh, no, unfortunately, too rusted. It's not like I'll put the lamp to use, so it's only got to be enough just to hold the base on like that, so. I'm quite happy with that. Switch is uh, working fine. Yeah, I'm pretty certain if I have another Steady Bird one, I've probably only got one. I know. 99% of the ones I've got do flash, at least. Well, there we go. End of the video. Barricade lamp update. Right. 
I'm just going to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. No, that was it. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.